Hello, we're here with Barbara Chang, and he's from uh, Light and Salt Services. This is from Austin, Texas. So That's tell right. us about this Light and the Salt. Um, Light and Salt organization uh, started from Houston, Texas. And we're Christian based, and we're trying to help community with um, information, education, and cancer support. And we are, uh, since four or five years ago, the uh, ACA, also called Obamacare, and we are um, the first one jump in to start the navigation for the local Chinese community, also Korean and Vietnamese communities. So uh, I know that you've been really active in this uh, organization, and when did you start to get involved in civic uh, engagement, and what brought you there? Well, um, I re sort of retired early because I have rheumatoid arthritis. After 20-some uh, surgeries later, I found out um, I think the computer technology world really doesn't need me. I'm too slow. So I devoted my energy to the community because they don't think I'm that slow. And then uh, we started, uh, I started about uh, 10 years ago. We started small with the uh, uh, cancer support, and then gradually developing to a uh, um, ACA, and now we're looking into the uh, community health clinics, mm -hmm. and probably that project going to start in the next ten years. That's what we are looking into. Mm. So we're talking about light and salt is from Bible. So how does this change your life? Uh, it does. It changed me tremendously because I used to think. Um, I don't have any impact on people. After I got sick and the doctor told me I don't have much time to live, and I decided... When, when was that? That was when I was in early four, uh, 30s. And then um, it says, well, your life expectancy probably ends at 40. So then I decided I'm going to use each day meaningfully. So then... Um, I'm, I'm 60 this year, so I, I'll live. And I um, thank God for it because um, helping other people really give me the strength waking up. I know I have a mission, and that was what I need to accomplish. So how did you, uh, what did you do in, in the light and thought, and how did you help people to find the meaning of their life? Well, um, because... I have my uh, disabilities and uh, my fingers, I only have like one finger that moves really well. So if uh, I'm helping them to survive and, and they see how I survive, that might be give them some encouragement. Um, life goes on with fingers or without fingers, mm -hmm. but um, you make your life happy because God wants us to contribute to uh, love one another and help each other out. Mm. So today you are at this uh, Asian American Pacific Islander Leadership Forum. And t uh, what inspires you most today? Well, I see everybody uh, is working very hard to try to make this community work better. And uh, we need to stand up and embrace each other and we have uh, this community that we have to build up and we start from one vote, ten votes, hundred votes, thousand votes and somebody will see us and they know that we are also contributing. We're not a public charge to anybody. Well thank you so much and God bless you. Thank you. It's thank a you. Pleasure.